What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? We live. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Let me get my uh my bright light on me. What's going on? How you doing, y'all? What's up? Glad to be here on this nice Friday evening. I'm a little tired, but I'm glad to be here. All right, guys. So we. Everybody, two girls, you straight out of sticky, 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 sunny SoCal. You know the deal. Yes, I love that. Sticky, sticky, SoCal. All right. Yes, that's what's up. I love it. My bad, guys. Just wanted to share this to a couple of people. They wanted to know we can hop on and what we was going to talk about. The one thing that's killing your finances. There's more than one thing, but we're going to talk about just one of them. There's several, but it's one thing we're going to talk about. Yeah, so, one more thing. So, guys, let's hey, go. If you guys are live right now, comment down below where you're from, how's your day going, what's going on. If everybody can hear us, I need you guys to put a one in the comments. Everybody put a one, one, one. Everybody that's on right now, put a one. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay down below. And click the share button. I need you to tag three friends. Tag three people that you really got some interesting information. Really pay attention. Some information that you guys are really going to be like, oh my God, did they just say that? So stay tuned to the end because we've got some surprise for you at the end. Okay. We've got some really good goodies. Um, you'll want to stay tuned in, tap in, and turn on. We got some hot topics tonight, guys. Yes, so yes. don't forget to put a one or hashtag replay right now. We're about to bring you the tea. Yes. On this nice Friday evening, I am exhausted, but this topic right here got me amped up because it's so true and it's impacting us now, especially even during quarantine. How they say it? Quarantine. Quarantine. It really sounds like the, the southern <laughs> way to do it, but... Quarantine. <laughs> quarantine, quarantine radio. We got EPC Radio Quarantine Court. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. So, all right, let's let's go ahead and dive into it because right. I, I know, like, like I said, we know that we don't want to take up all your time tonight. We just wanted to come live, go ahead and give y'all some value, and uh, just share what we got on our hearts, on our souls. We're just gonna give it to you real raw and uncut. We are gonna give it to you raw, dog, wow, wow. I am no one Okay. So guys, guess what? What month are we in? Are we in? We're still in September, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's my birthday month. What? It's still my birthday month. What is coming up next? We're 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 what is the next holiday that's coming up? Halloween! Whoa, she said Halloween. Okay, hi. So we just kind of want to bring awareness. Um, number one thing that's killing your finances. If you guys can guess in the comments down below, we'd love to get part uh Participation on here. This is a red talk table. Well, we can call it that. But really, it's an EPC table. <laughs> so, um, guys, we really like participation. What is something that's coming up right now that you guys are aware of? She said Halloween already. But if you guys can guess the one thing that's killing your finances, oh my God, I will cash up $100 to you what we're about to talk about. So, if you get it before I talk about it, let go. So, I really wanted to discuss this topic. We all have insight about this, and it's it's an eye, you know, it's an eyesore, it's an eye catcher. It's something that we've all kind of grew, grew up with. Um, let me just trickle it on down, guys, um, just to be real honest with you. Uh, what's coming up is Halloween, right? So yep. what's killing your finances is what? Big business. Big <laughs> business is what? All these fake <laughs> holidays. I bleep myself. <laughs> that are every single month. They are man-made holidays. So let's run through them. Can we all, let's go down the line, guys. If you are uh, joining live with us, go ahead and comment down below. What we got? We got Halloween. What's in November? We got what? Right? Bam. Basically. What's for December? We got what? Christmas. Christmas. What we got in January? New Year's. New Year's. What we got in February? President's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> what do we got in March? Oh, uh, what's it called? St. Patty's Day Parade. Or exactly. What do we have in April? Easter. Easter. 
And then it goes, and you know, guys, you get the point, right? Yeah. It goes like, you know, we got spring break too, all the extra little stuff too we didn't talk about. You know what I mean? We got mm. back to school too, also, you know what I mean? That happens. We got, you know what I mean? Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, you know, Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, fireworks. We got all this stuff every single month. There is big business happening. And why is that happening, guys? They want your money. So all the little bit of money that you done saved up, okay, that you actually didn't work so hard for, for your 45 hours or 50 hours a week, and you got to pay bills, rent, car note, whatever, food on the table, make sure the kids got cute clothes, all that good stuff, right? Toiletries, everything. Then all of a sudden there's a damn holiday and you're like, dang, am I going to make it? Am I, are we able to have Christmas this year? Like if you really have to ask yourself that, there's a problem, right? We should not have to live in poverty where we have to ask, can I even get my kid a Christmas present? Just so that, you know, you can keep the spirit going around if you want to, you know what I mean? Like you can't kill the kid's dream because everybody in school knows Santa gave me this, the tooth fairy that, you know, Easter Bunny this and that. Oh my God, you know, you, you kind of want to keep the hope alive for your kids, you yeah. know, and that's fine. We don't want that spirit to go away. We just want you guys to be able to be comfortable and realize this is what's killing your finances. Besides inflation, when we talked about yesterday, if you didn't catch that video, go catch that. Okay. Um, we're going to put it on our page. But you guys, that's the other part of it is you, you're stuck in this job and you get the same pay for 20 years, but you got inflation, which means groceries and gas are going up. And then you have all these holidays every single month. You're really not going to catch up and go have a vacation and do whatever you want. Like you just can't. I mean, what are you guys thoughts on the panel? Like this really is frustrating to me because a lot of people really strive for, oh my God, Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up. Right. And it's like, they're stressing out. Now it's like Halloween costumes are coming up now. What are we going to do? Trick or treat over online? What are we about to do guys? Like, we <laughs> Well, I mean, we, we already got all these masks out, so you know we could we could say you know we're, we're dent, you know dentist, you got you know I'm a doctor, you know, I can't say I'm you know what you can go at any profession right now because they're all wearing masks. So <laughs> pick your poison. <laughs> what are you look? I'm scary. I'm, I'm Freddy Krueger. You got a mask on. I know, <laughs> right? So. We all got masks, like you know, it's, it's it's crazy. This is a we're we're in something really, really. Look, even Tony said Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Like, dang, you guys, we didn't think about all that extra stuff too. That's where the most people spend a lot of yeah, money. So true. You guys think there's a pandemic going on? I'm gonna tell you right now. I got a lot of friends in e-commerce. They're having like like three k to fifty k days. You just hear me? I said days where people are spending money online what else is there to do like people are just remodeling their house right now you can you can sell stuff from lowe's home depot to make a quick buck that's what i'm telling you guys clean out your garage one man's trash is another man's treasure and sell it on craigslist offer up mm -hmm. let go whatever make a quick dollar out of nothing you just literally made money just from cleaning out your garage right now if you guys are dead broke okay you have an opportunity every single day to make a dollar but you've got to be innovative you've got to get creative right. and if you want to have some income coming in at least do that just to like help you out and fluff up and pay for your bills and then invest in yourself into a company or do something that has an established product already like we're a part of an established product already why even waste time trying to co-figure and getting your llc creating your own product you know getting like hiring a marketing and sales team and customer service and it's like so much right yes get yourself positioned into a company where they already have an established product not to mention our product tells you how to make money but get yourself into a system that already has an established product okay boom and get in and lock in and make some money right now it's it's literally like that's what it is like i mean this is this is sad guys we can give you so many ways on how to get some money i can tell you all day you know what i mean go on the free section on craigslist guys right now and just go look people are selling couches go in the little like you know where you live at everybody's place in the hood but there's always a nice place too right and they're giving away stuff all the time take that stuff and then put it in your garage and have a yard sale and sell it and you can make money boom everybody should have 20 40 50 60 100 dollars right now just by doing that just by doing that and do that all day okay there's no excuses on why you shouldn't have food for your kids clothes for them 
Um, you shouldn't have, you know, no reason not have gas in your car, pay your phone bill, your light bill, internet. There is a way, guys. We're here to give you solutions. That's what EBT Radio is all about. We're here to give you solutions. You know what I'm saying? Like all of it. That's so true. That's so true. And I and, and it kind of frustrates me too whenever I hear people say, I don't have money, right? Like, there's no way in the world you're trying to tell me that you don't have money, but you have tons and tons of items in your house that you can sell, right? Like you said, you know, another man's uh, trash is another man's treasure. Like, I can go in there, <laughs> I can go, I, I seen somebody put up a, a, a a picture it was two pictures it was a silver um what is it called uh a paper clip a silver paper clip and a gold one all worth over two thousand dollars a paper clip a paper a clip, paper clip? A wow. Paper wow. Clip. i said are you kidding me I, I, silver and gold so i'm like okay cool if they can sell that for two grand like i know my pillow should be you know i got a my pillow too right away like yeah the ad got me guys you know they got me i i, I wanted to see if my pillow was good because their pillow said you know theirs was good so i was like well my pillow ain't really working so i went to go get their my pillow so now i have their my pillow there you but, go. Oh, another <laughs> but um <laughs> but no guys like like it, it, there's so many different things i mean if you look you can just look at if you're watching this right now, just look around your house or look around wherever you're at right now and just just pick out, okay, that chair right there. You know what? Go get I don't need it right now. Right? So I can literally take that and, and, and sell it. Right? You can do that with so many different things inside of your house. Right? So you have that right now, but you sell it, flip that money, Get something that you can invest and actually put some assets into your house. And that by itself will be able to put more money back in your pocket. Now, what you can go do is go buy that, you know, whatever you just sold. You can either do one or two things. A, you can go and get a brand new one, or you can just actually be like, all right, cool. Well, I'm, I'm just going to get the same one back. Hey, give me that back. <laughs> I'm going to give you double for it now. But now that you've got the money to do it, you can actually do it. I mean, you can also too, like, I mean, it's, it's, well, I know, especially where I am, it's fall. Leaves are falling. Go get a rake. Go rake someone's little lawn right there. Make some money and also get some, a workout in at the same time too. There's ways to make it and then flip that money and put it in something, some bigger and better things. That part, there's no excuse, guys. What it is at the end of the day, it's work ethic. So, Right. So let's say, for example, you know, we're all leaders on the panel, but we like to think of ourselves as equals to all of our team. Nobody's below us. Nobody's above us. We're all equal. We move as a unit. And that's how we like to perceive it. But at the end of the day, though, it does matter about work ethic. So when she's telling you, hey, here's a hint, go mow somebody's lawn or go do X, Y, Z, go wash cars, whatever, you can make $5. Don't let a homeless person outrun you on the streets to make a dollar because I will I will give you a homeless person right now and show you how lazy you are they will hustle so hard to either wash your windows like get get out of your car and do your gas for you like whatever it is they will do it they're out hustling you don't let a homeless person out hustle you don't let them find a, a you know what I'm saying like there is a will there's a way like whatever go down is down must come up don't give no excuses. Like it's like at the end of the day, it's like you're giving yourself excuses. You're selling yourself out of an opportunity for a chance to change your life. I remember Ken always told me he said, "I treat everybody the same because guess what? Until they show me different, that person can bring me a million dollars. I would never right. know it. I'll never forget that. He told me that since the jump. Like and so that's been my motto. Like okay, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna give you the message out. You know, I'm very optimistic. But at the end of the day, it's like. I need to see your work ethic. I can't just hand you everything and spoon feed you for the rest of your life. Then what are you going to do? You're going to be lazy. I'm enabling you to be lazy and not have a work ethic. No. So what we do over here, we teach you. What's that saying about the fish? <laughs> teach him. Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man how to fish, he eats for a lifetime. Lifetime. So. Probably. That's in the Bible. <laughs> See, and I, right. <laughs> I tried i tried guys tony said 2020 is the year of the go-getters 
Um, this year has shown the blueprint for hustlers. And you know what, actually, I, I wanna say a, a quick side note on that. Um, being an Instagrammer like I am, I always on Instagram way more than I am Facebook, by the way, guys. But I've seen a quote that was kind of floating around when the pandemic started. It said, if you have done nothing during this whatever, then you're lazy or this or that. It was like all this name calling bullshit. To me, I'm sorry, but number one thing to do is put people down during a, a, a sensitive time in our lives right now. That's the number one thing you don't do. But right. number two is at least maybe make your bed every day. Do something consistent. You know what I mean? Like like something that's different, whether you meditate every day or, or, or you know, you give yourself some me time, do some self-love. You know what I mean? Like self-development, read a book, like the whole 30 days we were in quarantine. Like at least have done something. That doesn't mean you have to go out there and be a hustler and make some money and do X, Y, Z and all that. But it just means do something. That's how I kind of wanted to flip it on a positive note. I didn't want people to feel as if, oh my God, I'm such a loser. I didn't do nothing during the pandemic. Nothing happened. But yes, there probably has something beneficial, something different did happen, but it's just all about your perspective. So also too, you're probably going to off of what your friends say or your family members say or what they see you doing and not doing. So it's kind of like, you have to look at it in the way it's like, well, this is my life. So what did I do different? And how do I feel? Like, what is the difference with me? You know what I mean? So don't put yourself down, guys. I'm pretty sure there's something that you did different. Maybe you brush your teeth three times a day instead of once a day. I mean, there had to be something different that you did that you got to give yourself kudos for. It's just like, you know what I mean? Everybody has, like I said, everybody, everyone falls at some point. And the question is, will you get back up? Ooh, that was fire. Exactly. You know, it's crazy that, you know, somebody actually did, somebody wrote on my post earlier today. Um, they was like, man. 2020 has been like the worst ever you know and it's like <laughs> it's really on how you looked at it like I, I I literally said earlier I was like look 2020 has been the best I mean if hands down from anything I've ever done in my life 2020 has been the best opportunity for me hands down it's 2019 18 17 16 has nothing on what 2020 has given me giving me the opportunity to do and just just bless me in so many different ways well you know what i I was gonna say actually for 2020 i was lazy 2020 i'm not even gonna lie i was i was one of those i was one of those people that got distracted and i got lazy and i was like eh. and um the one thing i did do that i absolutely like am proud of myself of is that i read the book are called the four agreements which you know on our little call they were talking about it by mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. don miguel okay. ruiz her i don't know if you guys can see that it, oh shaka khan is going in the thing but anyway um it's a it's a great book it's an excellent book to read it's a it's gonna hold you accountable and you're gonna start looking at things a hell of a lot different than you did before So like before in the beginning of 2020, I was like a little bit depressed. I was distracted and, you know, I wasn't really focused on anything and I was getting quarantine weight and eating hot Cheetos nonstop. But, you know, I was like, (laughs) yeah, so, but I'm so lucky that I snapped out of it. So basically like how, you know, Letitia said, like, if you fall in, that's okay because there's nowhere else to go besides up. So, I mean, like, get it together. It's okay. It's, I've, I've done it. I was, I had hit rock bottom and I just finally decided to stand up. And I'm telling you, this book, get that book because it's going to make you very definitely uh, accountable. Well, listen, I, I actually got to hit you up on that, um, what you just said. You said you hit rock bottom and it was kind of crazy you just said that. And that was literally what I was about to talk about. Um, I actually had a friend tell me, he was like, yo, a lot of people say they hit rock bottom, right? But have you ever hit a rock bottom before? Mm. Like physically. Like, have you ever have you ever jumped from a, a you know a skyscraper, right? 10 stories high and you hit rock bottom. Did you how many people you know did that and actually survived? 
Not one? Well, yes. I was going to say, because back in my little army days, I had to rappel off of a large mountain and I kind of like did it wrong. I went, boom, 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 boom. Right. I'm talking about just straight, nothing on, just, oh, just yeah. flat out, hit rock, hands straight out, face flat, <laughs> straight down, hit rock bottom. Yeah, no. I know. Not head going down. Because most people like, I go head straight down, hit rock bottom, boom. If you do that nine times out of 10, you're going to break your neck. You, you're probably not going to live to tell about it. And if you do, you're going to be a mushroom, right? So a lot of people say <laughs> they hit rock bottom, but you never really hit rock bottom because the rock is it's pretty, it's pretty soft. It's like hitting the mud. It's not really rock bottom, guys. Like it might hold you in. It might hold you down. It might suck you in a little bit. But if you take your time, you can definitely get back up. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. And that's the, that's the big portion of this whole talk that I wanted to get out. And we didn't want to keep y'all long. We just wanted to bring awareness to everything that we just talked about today. Right? So, I don't know. Panelists, do y'all have anything else y'all want to give to the people before this we... Book. Please. Ooh, ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, there... Put it... there you go. Nope. The... Never mind. Yeah. I'll just post it on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good book, The Four Agreements you know, by Don Miguel Reese. And I'm telling you guys, this this is going to hold you accountable. You're going to be like, really? I was complaining about that. It makes you look at so many different things in a different perspective. And I think it's great for everyone to read, no matter what you're in, whether you're in uh, an epic company like we're in or anything else, like you can be dealing with weight. You could be dealing with your own mental, you know, health. That book is going to really make you look at life a little different. So I recommend it. Oh man, so I got my man Jason said he was a he was a uh, sniper back in the day. Ooh, that was his MOS. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. William, like, we're coming back up now. Thanks for the knowledge, guys. This is this year was hard, and the family, especially the kids, so much. Right. right. Hey man, yeah, you all you can do is go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I said I sniper. Know. You said snapper, my fault. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna say snapper. Snapper training, I know that because there's a test like, you come in and it's like it'll ask you like what kind of person you are, and then you'll end up being a certain kind of traitor. So, so I, I'm gonna be a sniper. But no, he was talking about he was talking about the military. Yeah, I was. I was thinking about. <laughs> but he does trade. That's oh, a good, that's cool thing. Man. Hi. Jason came in and he, and he started. Um, He's actually part of the team. So guys, like if you're watching this and um, he shared this on his page, you know, definitely go go get with him because he's he's a part of the team and uh, he's doing some big things. Like he he actually took the product. I actually shared it with him and he just took just 15 minutes of what we had to offer. And he was able to take this account that he had was negative three hundred dollars and he went positive up. I think it was like over a hundred and something dollars. Hundred and it was like hundred and fifty dollars, something like that. Yeah, it was crazy. Just off the small information that he learned inside of our Epic Academy, right? So our Epic University, I said Academy, our Epic University, and this is just the beginning stage of what we got. So just imagine, guys, like if you can, he made five hundred and twenty dollars today, today. Yeah. Come on, guys. Listen, how with five hundred and twenty dollars, what can that do for you, right? That that can do a lot. Five hundred and twenty dollars a day. Come what on, can now. that do for you? A day. We're not talking about you know in a week. We're talking about a day. I got inside and dropped my phone. <laughs> it's so powerful. It is. Like, it is. Congrats. I'm, I'm I'm super excited. I, I've never been so excited. To, right. I mean, because look, I've, I've I've had products to sell. I've always sold products. I've always had affiliate products. But the one thing that you it, it's and some people ask like, man, my friends won't be excited about this. I don't know how I will sell this. First of all, if you got to sell money, it's a problem. That is right. absolutely. Can we pause right there. I, I'm telling you, if there's no way in the world. 
<laughs> if I gotta sell you, like, hey, do you wanna you wanna make more money? Like, if I gotta sell, come on, man. I know you 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 need more money, man. Like, and it's hey. legal. It's legal. Right. Look, yeah, we spend twenty dollars have... all the time. Why do I? There shouldn't even be a conversation about why you're investing in yourself to potentially make triple, quadruple times the money. I and don't. Twenty dollars that just goes away either in your belly or your ass. <laughs> exactly. I, cause see y'all, you you guys are gonna have me clap now. I do not want to see anybody complain about money when they talk about they put a deposit down for a PS five. Ew, we, I didn't even just, know they was coming out with this. Shut the live down now. Like, you shut the live down now. I'm done. <laughs> Drops mic. Drops mic. I'm done. Everybody trying to get that PS5, 6, 7, 10. Man, does that make you? I hope you're on Twitch. I right. really do. <laughs> right. I'm so done. Uh, it's like buying, it's like waiting in line for a $200 pair of Jordans. We're just going to buy another pair. Right. I'm not. No. No, absolutely. It's like perspective, people. What did you spend your last twenty dollars on, or your last hundred dollars? Let's say a, a two hundred dollars. What did you spend your last two hundred dollars on, or a hundred dollars on, or twenty? Did it make you any money? Did it right. make you any money? What did you last post on social media? Did it make you any money? Did it make you any money posting on social media all day long? Funny stuff, memes, cats, funny jokes. Like, did it make you any money? We're just trying to bring awareness to you guys that we have a solution with we the, the company that we partnered with. It's a guaranteed product that is already set out there in the store. It's like, it's good to go. Like they they got the, the wheels rolling. We got apps coming out. We got trade signals coming out. We want to be a trader. You know what I mean? They're going to tell us what to put. You know what I mean? On the little trading view. Of, well, you got to get in and know what that means, but. Like guys, they're telling us how to market from seven marketers that have been in the marketing game for over 20 years. They got marketing systems. They're telling us already right now what to post, how to post pictures. If you could post a, an ad such as an ad means you can post a photo or a video. Ad copy means if you can post some words, copy and paste. If you could copy, can you all, can you all say it with me in the in the comments below? Copy and paste. If you guys can copy and paste, you can do this. You can do all that. <laughs> okay. Hey, $520 per day. And that's on the oh, low. And we got to tell them, listen, we just got our 20 for everybody that's getting ready to even think about joining the company that we're in or even looking at it. We have a strategy called the 20 pips and dip that just launched. We got the, we got the, we got everything set up already. So if you if you're actually already in the company, listen, make sure you go in your back office, make sure you get that uploaded because we're getting ready to, to launch, man. I'm I'm super excited about that. And not only that, guys, we got some, I got some other inside juice that I can't really tell either. I swore an oath. So I can't tell nothing, but but just know that we got some juicy stuff going, coming. It's it's about to go down. Like I can't, I can't spill the beans, like I said, because my my word is my bond. So I tell people like, yo, if you tell me something, I can't really tell it. So no matter what anybody say, I can't I can't say it. But uh, <laughs> all I can say is we got some juicy stuff coming. Like that's that's literally all I can say. Like it's 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 about to be crazy. So, uh, but yeah, guys, like we've come up on our thirty minutes of fame. We gave you all of the stuff, our real raw, uncut. I know our, our moments up here have really been exciting. So we, uh, we're we so excited that we, we got some new people that just got started on the live. Man, what's going on? Listen, we, 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 we're going to we're gonna come back here tomorrow, right? Yeah. Give you all the same, some, some, some of the same energy. And we feed off the energy that y'all give us in the chat. So definitely keep giving us all the love, giving yeah. us all the courage. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay blessed because, you know, we're definitely going to be blessed as well. So that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Hey, guys.